1116, January 22nd. Well, that's PM, by the way, obviously. Hey, it's funny, so many terrorist snitches, bitches and witches, criminals with badges gone rogue. That I saw up in Santa Monica are mysteriously appearing here tonight after I've been down here for, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks, three, four, I don't know, off grid. Their new location. Now they're mysteriously down here. Isn't that ironic? Um, I have had epiphanies through life. And tonight when coming back from the emergency room and, and at UCLA, which, you know what, you guys really do rock and you have been taking excellent care of me and I just want to acknowledge that. Um, I have lived most of my life at UCLA either studying or being studied um, or in studies uh, for everything imaginable uh, including the Timothy Leary project and for those of you who know what that might mean uh, which ABC wasn't really thrilled about when they found that I was in that project but you know what they got the highest ratings they ever got uh, anyway I was listening to Elton John earlier and I had an epiphany. I've had epiphanies through life, as those who know me well can tell you. I saw my dad have an accident in the middle of the night and woke up screaming, and my mom came to the room, and I told her what happened. And, and she was like, no, bad dream, back to sleep. And then the phone rang, and, and when she, I heard her sobbing, and then she hung it up screaming, and she came running back. How did you know? Uh, I have seen things before they happened since childhood. The things I've seen about where we're at today, that are so horrific the world is not ready to absorb it. But I can tell you this about that. If you take a minute to figure out what random acts of kindness you've done today, and you do today that aren't grandstanding and get you a high five from your friends because you told them this amazing story how you helped you know whatever um what are you doing for world peace today i know i put my ass on the line because i know there's corruption in my government and several others and as someone who's worked as a broadcaster a filmmaker since age 10 <laughs> And uh, I'm 58 now. And on my 60th birthday, I'm throwing a concert for World Peace. I hope you'll join us. You can find out more details at facebook.com forward slash Kirk Kelly Entertainment and look under events. Also look at youtube.com, where you're probably finding this video source from, youtube.com forward slash disaster relief thing. And see the people that we've uh, started as a lineup as a concert for World Peace. If you have other suggestions, please send them to me at Disaster Relief Inc. That's INC at gmail.com. And if you can help, Disaster Relief Inc. is an NGO, a non government organization working with governments around the world for humanitarian interests. We're working on a concert for World Peace to help restore rainforest, to help get sustainable living coexistence, recycling, herbal cures and remedies that work versus synthetics that just prolong agony and end up in death. We're about pure air and pure water and pure food and a lot of things that some of the big business and government make a lot of money on. And if you Google the Georgia Guidestone, you'll see that in the United States a doomsday monument was erected in 12 languages. Four of that allegedly haven't been spoken on this earth in over 2,000 years. So I don't know why you would transcribe, especially how do you speak hieroglyphics? But also ancient Babylonian, this Babylon. And, um, there's also Sanskrit and ancient Greece, but eight current languages like Russian and English about how the New World Order will take the world population by 2020 down to two to 500 million people. Now, that means about 7.3, roughly, billion people will be eradicated. The date they've set is 919 19 You can also 
Google Illuminati plan to genocide seven plus billion people. Lots of things will come up. It'll tell you through air, chemtrails, artificial additives. Um, uh, you see, my government has been controlling air and water and drought and disasters on this planet since 1959, the year I was born. So I've never even seen natural weather as it was in this incarnation. This is extinction number six, boys and girls. So if you think everything they've taught you is correct, you should wake up. Do research. Get over your God for a minute or Allah, Buddha, Jesus Christ. Uh, who cares? Think of the creator and free will. And then humans came in and made up a bunch of stories and Kool-Aid and you've been drinking it and government and terrorists and oh my God! You don't get 72 virgins for blowing up and hurting other people. Let's just get honest for a second. That's all bullshit. Nowhere in the Kren does it say that. I'm a theologian also. I am a scholar. I've invented a lot of technology that you use, like SSL, so you can use your credit card to buy shit. Uh, stuff. I've invented voice over IP. I've invented video streaming in all formats for television and film on the internet. I've been robbed by my government, abused and sodomized by people around the world. I've given away more to charities than Bill Gates and Oprah Winfrey ever thought of. Due to projections, not my independent, I was worth four to six billion dollars back in 1999. He who inventeth the code, no matter what you have overlaid on top of my code, I have the root keys. I'm the wrong guy to ever, ever mess with. And, as I've told everyone I've ever met, what if God, or the Creator, was one of us, and he lied to his face? Don't lie to me about anything of the little stuff, because I'm trained, I have multiple identities, I do federal contracting around the world, I work with governments around the world, I not only do television and film, boys and girls, and voiceover work, and teach acting, and camera and film, and produce and direct, and do my own stunts. When you have a genius IQ, you probably don't sleep much. Einstein very rarely slept. There are those who believe Kurt never, ever sleeps. She's probably pretty close to the truth. There are many who have advised Kurt he should have left his country about four years ago. Some of his best friends, the FBI, DOJ, and several others. It's hard to tell a broadcaster who was born in the Book of Who's Who. It's for world leaders who's related to presidents and royalty and has been a broadcaster and a celebrity and a public figure most of his life to shut up and go disappear. The odds of that happening are nil to none. The good news Uncle Kurt has invented and has so much footage, you honestly think I've never walked in anywhere, it doesn't matter if it's a federal building, White House, Senate building, and I've been in them all. Ambassadors, embassies, palaces, FBI, doesn't matter. You may think that it's us just talking, but you can be guaranteed I have audio video running wherever I go. I am a genius at what I do. So, I propose no one wins World War III except the bomb makers and those who want to extinct most of you. I propose we do a concert for world peace. You're either for it or you're not. And if you sit by idly, that's the not section because you're not doing anything to help make a difference. Disaster Relief Inc. is an NGO, a nonprofit, registered in the state of Michigan with the IRS and registered with the UN, and we work for humanitarian interests, sustainable rights, green technologies, pure water, pure air, pure food for everyone, and equal medicine. You're only an alien if you're from another universe, boys and girls. It's not from a foreign country. Give me a frickin' break. You're still a citizen of planet Earth. And who made all these countries? People. Not God.
whatever your God was. You didn't make race, color, creed, gender, non-gender, transgender, go fuck mm, yourself. And you can thank the Catholic Church for that F-U-C-K, boys and girls, fornication under cardinal knowledge. Thanks to the Catholic Church, which is also Illuminati. Just Google Illuminati figures and who's involved in the Illuminati. It's all public records. It's not just me psycho-babbling. I am first and foremost a humanitarian. I am a broadcaster, I'm a filmmaker, I'm a producer, I'm a director, I'm a writer, I'm a creator, I'm a technologist, I do research and development, I've consulted almost every industry imaginable. This is not braggadocious, it's factual, it's documented. I am sane, it's a fine line between genius and insanity, and I have to skid every day, and I've had to do insane stuff to get some of the news stories that I've gotten, and I usually don't attach my names to the big ones, because, well, that's not always safe, but at this point, uh, frankly, Scarlett, who gives a damn? I mean, Ollie North would have never testified had I not found his dumpy grounds. And someday the Bushes will answer for why they killed the Kennedys, which were my relatives, and you ah, were the hit. Fucking do that! And you had Ben Laden be one of the hit persons. I mean, George, come on, let's just get out. Listen, George Jr., the deal you cut with Ed much more and then backdoored me on over the 911 thing was absolute bullshit. And Karen Knightsell, you and your dad will rot in hell for what you did. And not even in the hand basket, you're going straight to hell. And Jennifer Keatsman, Melissa English, John Bazuski, same to you. You see, I have a list, and I did tell everyone, be honest, don't surprise me even on the little stuff, because you know, one, you know what I do, and I don't like surprises, because I know who there who could hurt me. <coughs> and two, if you're going to lie on the little stuff, you're going to lie on everything. If you're going to lie to me, when I've been the nicest person you'll ever meet, I'll go out of my way and take a bullet for you, as long as you're honest. I will be your Armageddon. You will answer to me at the end of time from infinity to infinity. So whether you believe in God or Creator, one thing I guarantee you, if you've watched this, and you haven't gotten a clue that you've been drinking Kool-Aid and you don't give a shit, that's on you. <coughs> but you can never say at the end of time when I do meet you, in whatever incarnation you see me in, that you weren't forewarned.